It is just turning 646 on your Thursday morning. We've all seen the extent of damage done by Hurricane Harvey in southeast Texas and the damage done to so much of the state of Florida by Hurricane Irma. Well, we have had local folks helping out in a big way, especially the U.S. Coast Guard. Hurricane preparedness as it relates to us here in Hawaii and the recent experience of the guest I want to welcome in. It's Petty Officer First Class Robin Hamilton of Coast Guard Air Station Barbers Point. Good morning to you. Good morning. Hey, if you could, you're a rescue swimmer. Yes. And you were sort of dispatched to the Houston area, to, mm -hmm. to Texas. Tell us, if you don't mind, Robin, kind of what you experienced, what you saw, what was the scene when you got there? Sure. So we got there on Wednesday. It was, uh, you know, six days after the hurricane made landfall. Uh, first thing I noticed, we got to the air station in Houston and uh, the overwhelming amount of assets that were there from the Coast Guard and the DOD as well. And then uh, within hours, I was on a crew flying over and uh, the amount of houses and devastation that we saw, the flooding, it's nothing I've seen in my career, but uh, yeah, literally thousands of houses underwater. We've seen an intense sort of series of hurricanes, whether it be in the Gulf or the Atlantic. With you responding and the resources, I guess you touched on it just a bit, mm -hmm. must have been pretty overwhelming or pretty amazing to have seen as a sort of first responder. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It was, uh, it was amazing to see uh, crews from all over the country come together and, uh, you know, to the way our training works is we're able to hop on crews with people from Alaska to Miami to everywhere and uh, work together in a, you know, pretty pretty well. I guess that's the great thing with the U.S. Coast Guard mm -hmm. is you, uh, you're all sort of interchangeable. Uh, you know what I mean? Sure. I, I mean, you're unique, but the, you're also part of a team. Yeah, absolutely. So that's what's kind of cool about it. Uh, the way we train, the standard that we train to, we could hop on a crew. I could literally meet the crew minutes before our flight, and we all know exactly what to expect from one another, and yeah, we make a complex situation run pretty pretty well, pretty fluid together. Uh, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Hey, tying this back to Hawaii, what do you think are some of the lessons that we could learn from seeing storms like this, whether it be Harvey in Texas, or whether it be Irma in Florida, or whether it be Maria that's hitting Puerto Rico? Sure, absolutely. So one of the big things that um, we ended up going to help people with was people that just weren't prepared. So I got there, like I said, five days after the storm, mm -hmm. and there were people that just didn't have enough food, enough water, uh, prescription medication. So I would say, yeah, just make sure that you have plenty of the things you need because it might not be as easy to get after a major disaster like that. I was going to say, you, you said five, six days after the hurricane is when you were in. Mm -hmm. For yes, some sir. of these folks, this was the first contact they had. You, you know what I mean? When yeah. you talk about with your just having two weeks worth of stuff, you might have been the first, you know, you're the cavalry. If you sure, know. absolutely. Yeah, I mean, there was so many people that needed help. Uh, the rescue assets were really stretched. So uh, we got to people as soon as we could. But yeah, absolutely. It was five, six days later, and we had just seen people. And I was going to say, you make a good point, mm -hmm. especially with some of our elderly in Kapuna. A lot of them have medications that mm -hmm. they may have to take on a daily basis. That's sure. super important. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, to make sure, if, especially with a hurricane where you could see it coming, making sure that you have all those things. And at least I would say up to two weeks worth of extra extra stuff so hey officer we Thank appreciate you. it Petty officer it. hamilton robin hamilton with the air station barbers point we appreciate it and, and the work that you guys did it was just amazing Thank you.